Johnny, so I've got because I actually have got a Prius, see. And so what I did is I started up the engine, and uh, we've got. You see, it's on as charging the battery, right? So that means it's in that range, and uh, it's kind of a high idle. So I'm talking about you know a thousand RPM perhaps. Oop, and then it dropped then. So that that's going to be not much more than like sort of like a thousand RPM thing. And so what we've done is we've connected to the charging circuit, right, and I've got a meter on it, and as you can see it's showing around about the 100 volt mark. Now, I've done the documentation, and it seems to me that the gear ratio between that, the engine, and the charging generator under there right now is something in the region of 3.6 to 1, which means it will tally up with what I was seeing, because if it was on 1,000 RPM, I was seeing about 15 volts, wasn't I? Is that right? 3.6, so 15 volts times 3, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be all. Hmm, what's that? There you go. See, it's 100 volts. Three lots of 100 volts, right? On all three phases, I was moving between the phases like this. Here. Okay. Right, so we've got three lots of 100 volts, right, which it will probably magnify up. I'll put that back on there. There you go. <coughs> so that's back on, obviously, two of the phases. You have to have a jumper across there because that's like a connector that detects you taking the cap off. <laughs> it's under here, see? little thing there that connects into it. I thought, oh, I'm a bit wiser than that, so I've jumped it across so I can measure it. Right, and that's definitely... Uh, the right one because this is the one off of the uh, motor that I, it's off of that the generator which you can see there hung on the strap and this is off that and that is what this is so I know I'm on the right one you see <coughs> okay now if you say 3.6 to 1 then that means this engine is generating at about say a thousand rpm it might be a bit more it might be like 1200 1500 rpm right so if you magnify that up, right, let's say it's a thousand revs a minute and that is a four to one to make it easy reckoning. That means it's four thousand RPM on the generator, right? So that's ninety nearly a hundred volts, right? Four thousand RPM. Okay? For easy reckoning. Now I was seeing about fifteen to twenty volts, and this was an open circuit voltage of course. Um, on the uh, output of the generator when I was revving it at what I was imagining was about a thousand RPM. So this is four times the speed, right? And so that, that is slightly less than, if you divide that by four, you're talking about somewhere in the region of 20 to 25 volts, aren't you? Yeah? So it's in the right ballpark. It's not that that generator is broken, it's just that I've overestimated uh, the output from it. So now what I need to do, obviously, is I need to reset the original gearbox, the epicyclic gearbox, lock the outside ring, which is how it is right now. It's not moving, the car itself isn't moving, which means that the ring gear is not uh, is stationary. And so now we have the engine running at some high idle, maybe, I don't know, and it's now powering the generator directly through the epicyclic gearbox. So that's now producing 90-odd volts, okay? And it'll do that until it's until um, it's finished, basically. It'd be interesting to actually put some actual uh, proper meters on these things, you know, feed about, cut some section out of that, and actually have a three-phase meter on that, and on the actual output one. There's the other one. It's blooming obvious there. I can take that cap off and actually get that, so we can actually see what the voltage is in, and, and the currents as well, because it's uh, it's got a clamp meter, so it can measure the currents. I mean, we can, we can certainly use uh, Hall Effect devices to recreate what's in there, because that's Hall Effect devices, and uh, detect what the current is. Yeah. Okay. So it's verifying that the generator is working, it's just that you need some serious RPMs to get anything out of it, I would have said. Yeah. And it's going to cut out any time now.
basically what happens is that the RPMs drop, which is uh, where it's getting close to full charge. Yeah, you can see, look, it's dropping. And, then, and when that actually drops to the idle, which in this engine is 1,000 RPM, so it's probably at about 1,500 RPM. There we go. Let's just watch it go down. Oh, no! <laughs> I hate that. The meter itself cuts out. Okay, so let's put it back on AC. 76, 75, yeah. So it's gone past the 20 volt ish mark, basically, for a a thousand RPMs because I'm dividing my core because of the fact that this is geared up and the the output power is is proportional to the shaft speed the output current is uh, proportional to the torque right so if you draw more current you have to put more there you go gone yep now it's zero I don't know where it I'll have to look again because I was actually not concentrating 24 volt, 0.24 volts or whatever AC and that's just because of the uh, yep so that's good I'll put this back together now I'm going to get a meter to put on it though 